And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world and the former UFC lightweight champion, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Iron Michael! You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Well, it is St. Patrick's Day. You wonder if we're going to see Conor McGregor at the St. Patty's Day Parade in South Boston as we did in 2018. Got to be doing something in your neck of the woods, New Orleans, Louisiana. I mean, any reason to party is a good reason down in the South. In New Orleans, they party hard, and on St. Patrick's Day, it's no different. But the party tonight is inside the octagon. Oh, beautifully placed with the hook there by McGregor. Oh, nice right hand. Both guys still truly trying to find their range. Early action here in round one, and a nice front kick there by the kickboxer. That seemed to back the wrestler up a little bit. Yeah, and that reaction tells me that the kickboxer needs to do it again. Because it seems as though the wrestler is now going to accept fighting at this range. And that will allow for him to land more and more of these beautiful kicks. And blocks that hard. Maybe the best strike he's tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. And now a left. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him go up the football line. Because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as well. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time when you expect so many different strikes, but it's because he has such a vast knowledge of just finding that strike. So just over 20 total strikes. He found the ball for Conor McGregor. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Under a minute now to go in round one. Just out of range with that strike. Short up and cut here in the clinch by Chief. All right, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Final seconds of the round. Oh, take down their five chin. And a very close round. They take down like that it might be the difference. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Second round underway. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. He's 
straight punch lands. Nice jab by Connor. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, big elbow. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor. Oh! That was oh, my God! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Let's get to the official decision here once more, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 14 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Iron Michael Chandler. Well, what an impression Michael Chandler has made on UFC fans around the world. The Tony Ferguson knockout comes to mind, and he gets another huge KO here tonight. They say speed equals power, and Michael Chandler has a whole bunch of both. Tonight, that was on full display as he earns a huge knockout victory. Looks like he does train. He's in pretty good shape. Yeah, he's in good shape. Good shape. Looks like me. <laughs>